All right, time to set up the second and third week of October. And this time we're gonna continue the same approach as last week. We're gonna gather all the inspiration from Pinterest and create a beautiful collage for our bullet journal spreads or for my bullet journal spreads. But this time there's no wine, no vineyard. We're gonna go the old traditional route in October and collect all the fall pictures. So let's get into it. Okay, first let's jump over to Pinterest and I'm just typing in fall aesthetics and that term is enough to collect all the pictures for my two spreads. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of landscape pictures, lots of leaves and pumpkins, kind of tradition for fall. There's a lot of pictures with hands holding a cup of coffee or a pumpkin spice latte. So we're gonna play with those images later as well. Now let's go back to the bullet journal and build our first spread. So for this one, I wanted to incorporate all these landscape pictures, pumpkins, orange leaves. So I'm just importing those and some of them I decided to crop, make the edges super jagged so the spread doesn't look too perfect. And then later I decided to go in with the vintage sticker set. I thought this is the perfect time to use my craft papers because they're kind of in that brown color theme and they go very, very well in this kind of spread. So I use all three kinds, crop them like I actually rip this paper off and build my spread from there. Now the rest is pretty straightforward. I just gotta label all the days, put in my bullet points, and then also squeeze in my habit trackers. But this time I tried to use as many pictures as I can.
So yes, it definitely looks like I threw up fall all over the place, but I think it's okay. I mean, it's October after all. So now we're moving on to the next spread. And I told you before that we're gonna play with these creepy hands that are holding a fall beverage or any kind of fall item, mostly coffee. So I thought those would be fun to use as the base for each day. So I'm importing all of these, cropping them so only the hands will show, and then we'll go from there. So because we're dealing with such busy pictures, I was kind of afraid that if I put down my to-dos for the day that you wouldn't be able to read it at all. So I was hoping that if I take a white highlighter and I color that area in, that it would milk the background out, if you know what I mean. So it makes it a little bit more blurry. You'll see everything that you write on top. But as you can see, it did not work. The white highlighter just does not show at all if it's set. So I was going back to my uh, digital stationery set and some of these stickers are a little bit transparent, but they were just a little bit too opaque for my liking you wouldn't see the picture underneath at all so I decided to just leave it and instead take a thicker pencil that I'm gonna write my to do's with that way I hope my writing will show afterwards And then finally, because I felt like I haven't been using enough pumpkins just yet, I'm gonna fill in the empty spaces with more pumpkins. Definitely fall overload, but I think for two weeks, it's okay. So yeah, those are the two next weeks in October. There's two more to plan out. I wanna continue with the Pinterest approach for this month. So if you have any suggestions for the last two weeks, any ideas, any themes that I can do, then leave your comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you next time.